Hello, mono group tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon, the pure red ROM hack with me, Blue Ankylo, where I did a little bit of inventory management on the computer and tried to decide what kind of mons I should use in my team. And I eventually settled on, well, for now, Bulbasaur is our starter, so we keep him. The bird seems real good, and the hot dog, maybe. The, there was talk about using one of the bugs, and I... I don't know which one to use. I think... I think I used Butterfree on my own runs a few times. I don't think I've ever used a Beedrill. I've definitely never used a Venomoth. But I don't know... The word is Venomoths evolve at a pretty late point, so maybe not a great... Like, you have to be you have to be stuck as your little form for a long time. But maybe I'll try a Beedrill. We were talking last episode about how great Beedrills are. No big deal. We'll just have one in our team. Anyway, let's let's get going. What? Team Rocket's at the moon? Scram, kid. Yeah. There's a story, I guess. Some ten-year-old's gonna try to stop this team from... This, this is basically the Mafia. Uh, Alright, we didn't... So, end of last episode. It's been a bit of a break for me in between. Uh, we just barely made it to... Um, I think it's Pewter City. Uh, so, I do need to finish... Exploring this grass field there for new enemies. Yeah, I mean, between Beedrill and Meowth dealing drugs in the back streets, like dealing catnip, that is, in the cat back streets, I feel like we could just have a crime party. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's explore the town and start prepping for our first uh, gym battle. Yeah, you can hurt them or put them asleep to catch Pokemon. Good deal. They learn techniques as they grow. Yep. My husband lost his wallet. He's very absent-minded. He's not even concerned. I'll reward whoever finds it. This is new, by the way. He probably left it at the Pewter Museum. So there's a little side quest here. Okay, if it's, if it's normally level 31, that is so far away that I don't even really want to think about it yet. Ven Veno, Veno Nat is going to be benched for a little while then. That's, that's too far away. There aren't very many serious Pokemon trainers. They're just bug catchers. I guess there's... Is, there must be... Which generation has the first bug gym? There must be one. And is it a joke? You know what I'm doing? That's right. I'm trying to keep the venom I'm trying to keep the venomoths and beetles away. Literally, that's what he's trying to do. Spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of his garden. Namely, the ones that can carry small children and dogs away. Awesome. I love this game. Uh notice. Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils. Oh oh, I thought they were just stealing children or something. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk to that guy. I'm going to give this a tour. Did you check out the museum? No. You absolutely have to go. No! This guy also grabs us. This town's just full of traps. You have to pay, though. You could at least give us one free ticket. She's like, hey, have you been to this museum? No. You have to go. Also, 500 bucks. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, free item. I kind of feel like... I think I remember a childhood memory of finding an item somewhere around this museum. <laughs> but I don't know where. So we can just come back later. It's fine. I, maybe on the right side? Yeah! Blue sort of kind of remembers a little and finds an item. Um, there you go. <laughs> I... <laughs> Just random spots, you know. Yeah, that guy's a Beedrill this Christ. Hey, kid! Just carries us up here. <laughs> Give, takes your money. <laughs> That's one magnificent fossil. Actually, there's a line from... Um, I think it's the Electric Gym, maybe? Where they're like... Beware of mimics infiltrating you in the war kind of thing. As if... Uh, not mimics, whatever they're called. You know, the... Whatever the... Ditto, that one, right? Dittos that can shape change to look just like your best friend. We're gonna have to talk about that when we get there. Because, uh... That's another layer of... Oh, no. <laughs> we have a space exhibit. So it is the real world, right? They went to the moon. Moonstone? Not so special. It's just moon rocks. No big deal. July 20th, 1969. The first lunar landing. I bought a color TV. So, you know, it is the real world, right? They got a rocket, they went to the moon. Apollo program happened. What's this? A wallet, huh? 
whoever dropped it was loaded. I bet you I could buy a magic card. <laughs> Did Gold Silver have a bug gem? I guess that would make sense that they'd get to it pretty quick. I don't know. I I did play uh, Gold Silver a bit, not really when I was a kid, more when I was a little older. And I came back to it when it did got remade on the the Gen Four system. But uh, I I know a lot of people really like Gold Silver because of the twist second half. But um. I, I, I only really played the first game the most, so... Do you know infiltrate a police station? Great! The president of... whatever, Pokemon Land, actually is just a ditto. <laughs> the reason this whole system of kids going out at 10 to fight Pokemon is because there's a ditto that's the president and has put this into law. The whole, <laughs> the whole system's taken over by Pokemon. Yep. And everyone thought, like, Mewtwo was the bad guy. No, no. The Dittos actually run the real ring. Uh, Snake is technically poisonous, so goodbye. Boy, sure glad I got this bird. What else you got? Oh, you got another bird? <laughs> That's not as good as my bird. Uh, flying resists fighting, so we'll just peck him. Yeah, we're, our bird is definitely better. Look at that. Basically two shot versus, I don't know, not quite two shot. As long as his third one isn't like... The only thing that would really counter us would be some water, maybe rock, I guess. Not an Abra. Honestly, our Bulbasaur would have been smashed here if we tried to use them against any of these, right? Poison is pretty good against grass. Flying is pretty good against grass. Psychic is pretty good against grass. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with the claw, I guess. We get stab, so... And physical, so this guy's... Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Psywave! I think that's another new move that's just a little bit weak. Drop special, that's pretty strong. I mean, that's a thing that the actual psychic ability can do, right? So, interesting. And remember, special is like super valuable in this generation because special is special attack and defense. So lowering your enemy special is like special up, special attack up, special attack down and special defense down. Anyway, good job, bird. And it's a fast bird. It's a strong, fast bird. <laughs> cool kid, got his cap on backwards, spiky hair. We rob him, take his money. I wish I was old enough to get one of those starters. I mean, to be fair, Psywave is. I think this one might be. Well, now we've seen it, I can look it up. I feel like this is different than the vanilla one, then. Because um, Psywave is paralyzed? Right? This is a low damage special reducer. And it's on the last page, so I assume it's sort of custom. Uh, I don't think that's the same as normal. 30 power, one third chance to lower special. I feel like usually the weakest psychic attack was confusion, right? It was, uh, in, in Gen 1, Confusion, Psybeam, Psychic, right? And anything else was, like, uh, non-damaging, I think. Anyway, this is our new super weak Psychic attack. Probably, my guess, is because Psychic is overpowered, so they gave them a lower power Psychic move so that you don't just always get wiped by it. Because Special being double stats and the type itself being very strong. I think... I, I Maybe I'm misunderstanding, but I certainly remember Gen 1 Psychic being the most powerful single type possible. It's not the same in future gens, but at least in Gen 1, it just covered everything. But maybe that's just my own faulty old memory. Also, hey there, uh, War Raider! I almost thought you were a War Turtle for a second because of, you know, the game. But... <laughs> Random damage main game? Wow. I mean, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> uh, if, if that was in the base game, I definitely don't remember it. You want a Pikachu. Well, I do have one, but you can't have it. 
because we have to feed it some radiation stones so it can grow into a bigger version. That's what they say, that's... Evolved stones are just radioactive, so... Just gotta mutate our little electric mouse. Alright, well, we won the random fight. He, we did get a... So this is like a little side quest we're on. Um, this is part of the hack, not, not part of the vanilla game. And, um... We had to go find this wallet that this guy lost, and this mum will reward us. Our SS tickets! No, can't go there yet. Oh, a level dependent- oh, so that's like, there's a fighting move that does the same. I didn't remember- I definitely did not remember that there was a psychic one. I knew there was a fighting move that did like level-based damage. I didn't know there was a psychic one that did the same, but... The more you know. I, there's a lot of Pokemon facts I don't know. Don't. I'm definitely not trying to act like I'm the expert. <laughs> I know some Gen 1 stuff fairly well. But not not anything else. I'm a fashion designer and a Pokemon breeder. Wink, wink. Hope she's not a ditto. Um, here, have a pocket Pokemon. Like a, a pocket monster. But you need to see the cute Pokemons. So you have to carry it in your pockets to be small. I'm sure there's a DeviantArt page all about it. But don't, let's not, let's not talk about it. Anyway, here, have a small baby Pokemon that fits in your pocket. Useful! It's a pocket Abra. It's actually really good. It's the replacement to the, uh, uh the escape rope. So it's a non-consumable item that actually cast the teleport spell, but it's like upgraded escape rope, so you can always get back to town. Very nice! Uh, this one you don't get to use in combat, but we should nickname it, of course. Uh, our pocket Abra, let's call him, um, well this is the one he's like, he's been bred to be small, so it's like a, it's like a teacup poodle or something. Uh, Call him, uh... I feel really bad for this guy. This is like... His whole life is going to be tiny, and in a world full of gigantic beedrills... You know, psychic being weak to bug... Uh, <laughs> being a tiny Abra might not be very nice. Hey there, Robert. There's a lot of Robs. I feel like half, half my viewers are Robs. Rob, Robson, son of Rob, the Robert. It's a fine name, just seems like I see it in the chat an awful lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's not get too far in there. Uh, teacup, I was thinking something like that. But I was also thinking like sympathetic, like boy, this guy's got a terrible life. Um, he's just, he's just a tiny little, little Pokemon. Um, you know what he really is? He's just a little warp stone. <laughs> don't don't pretend he's sentient and super intelligent. Remember, of course, Abras are pretty smart, so he's like probably smarter than the ten-year-old that's carrying him, like an intelligent sentient creature <laughs> that can communicate. Is trapped in your pocket, and all his all he does is teleport you back to town. That's his one job. What is your purpose in life? To butter bread. Except he warps us back to town. So. Feel sympathy for that one, I think. Um, but yeah, basically we just cut an item that uh, we can go, we can use it to, to warp. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so anyway, uh, good. Uh, let's keep moving on. Uh, what are we gonna do next? Uh, I think we can buy potions here. We don't have any of those yet, so let's check out. Uh, yeah, first shop. We don't really have any money, I suppose, but expanded inventory. And, you know, if you're really trying to cheese hard fights, it's not bad to have a few of those. Probably gonna run out of Pokeballs, though. Uh, good things happen if you raise them, sure. Shady old man got me to buy this weird fish. It's just like real life, some random old man tries to sell you a fish on the side of the road. Yo, there aren't any TMs here either. Why are the marts so lame? I have to do something about it. Hope they don't mind having some competition. When me and my dad hit the next city, my plan starts. I need a cool name, too. Let's see. The TM Kid? No, no. <laughs> so yeah, this guy, recurring uh, best character. Instead of just trying to beat you up with rats, he gets into business. 
Oh wait, that's the bee drill. Don't talk to that guy. Not again! <laughs> this is how they practice kidnapping ten-year-olds. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, should we just go fight Brock? Uh... We probably could still solo the, the boulder gym with, with the Whippet. Um, basically, grass is just so much better than rock ground. It, there's no way. But let's spend a couple minutes uh, checking, because I didn't actually check if there's any new encounters here. So we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time here, just in case. Uh, so I'm just going to fast forward through some of this. I'm not really even trying to grind. So we'll just run if it's not something new. I don't want to spend too long, but, you know, you got to you got to check. Whenever you're, like, one of the things that's nice nowadays is you can just, you know, pull up Bulbapedia or whatever website, and you can just see exactly what's in each zone if you're looking for something. Uh, and even the percentages. Uh, but when you were originally playing it, the, the, the authentic experience is you just fought it until you got tired and were like, I've probably seen everything. <laughs> and that, that's how you really know. And in a ROM hack, well, I guess you just get a number of encounters until you're like, well, that's probably it. And we're getting there pretty quick, because I haven't seen anything new. A lot of things we could grind on if we wanted. The bird also hard counters the fire dog because of ground attack. So basically, our, our multi-bird can destroy everything we've seen in this the last couple areas. Alright, three more fights and then I'm done. Just, just double check. Uh, that's one, two... I'll just prove that we can just dust claw anything here. Super effective. And then three. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything new. I feel like we've probably caught everything we can catch up to this point. Also, I know we're just... We just want to give it a little head rub, right? We don't need to. But let's do this guy. I turned ducking on the side of the road. <laughs> Hey, at least your parents didn't get carried off by Beedrills, making you an orphan. <laughs> but... Turducken sounds like a Pokemon, honestly. Alright. Let's go. We're not really worried about grinding or switching out. It's just... Early game grinding is just such a waste, right? The enemies... The, the enemy selection is bad, and you're just gonna get more XP in, like, the next zone anyway, right? Like, significantly more. Nidorans, right? I didn't go to this town, I forgot this one. Right, there's the standard trade mechanics, they grow faster, but you need badges to control them. I thought that was a pretty good mechanic. Prevents you from your older brother just letting you inherit a level 100 uh, Charizard, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. Nothing new here, I don't think, really. Let's... let's do the gym, I guess. So we, we certainly don't... I actually think Multibird could probably handle it with ground moves. But if they know rock moves, he will be weak to rock. It's rumored that the Kefleris came from the moon. Uh -huh. uh, Alright. Let's go. This is a pretty short gym. This won't take very long, right? And somehow... Stinker got here before us. Hey, champion making. He's not a champ. We're not a champion waiting yet. How do you win? All right. Ooh, telling you all about how to play Pokemon. Very nice. Thanks. There are Pokemon on the moon. I mean, they brought moonstones back from the moon, and all the other stones are radioactive. So, yeah, maybe Clefairies are aliens. Do they just like the radioactive. Let's just like some uranium. Alright, what do we got? First fight, Diglett! Well, whip it good, I guess. Diglett's notoriously fast. Bulbasaur is notoriously slow. Oh, I can't one-shot him! Well, we've got enough PP. There's not that many fights here. I'm not too worried about it. But... Could, could conserve the use there by using something else, maybe. good. We should get our starter. You could... What, he evolves at like 16 maybe? Sandshrew. That's fine.
Still can't one-shot them. If we got a couple more levels, I guess, you know, but... Fine. Now, we are... We did take half damage from this guy because, you know, lower level, maybe... Maybe I usually just only use my starter through that start, the first couple areas and level up a bit more, but maybe it's just Bubble Star is not that great. One thing I was going to check before we get to fight Brock. What's the stat spread on a little baby Bulbasaur? Oops. Uh, okay. All stats are pretty weak except special. Um, grass attacks do use special at least, so that's fine. Uh, poison is physical, though. So if we do get poison moves, uh, they do physical attack. Hello there, mobile. With a new name, yeah, indeed. Uh, Alright, well, I don't really have a rule against using potions before to save myself a backtrack to the Poké Center. Let's give it a shot. I think we'll be fine. Rock hard defense. Also, new music. Who needs shirts? Probably my favorite Pokemon when I was 10. The Geodude. I do like the, the gym leader uh, music. It gets better in fu future games, but it starts off strong. Alright, well how do you like being four times weak to Vine Whip? Poor Geodude. I love him, but he's not very good against plants or things with surf. Uh, poison powder? First extra move. Uh, this is another neat little feature of the ROM hack. This, yes, no, maybe. If we just click hide, uh, it'll skip that and just, you can still press B to not learn it, so it's fine. Now, I don't really like poison powder very much, but I'm no, no, growl's not good. Uh, and they also changed it so you are less likely to accidentally remove something. So you have to press start rather than A to uh, delete it, which is a good quality of life feature. Anyway, poison powder, whatever, it's nothing special. But maybe I'll use it on the Onyx just to prove how awesome it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd one-shot it with Vine Whip, but... Oh, he's gonna... Bide is different. So Bide usually waits and then deals, like, double damage back. But this time it gave him attack and defense up. So we gotta keep track of some of these changes. I'll leech him, I guess. What?! How dare you, Brock?! Although if he spams full heals after being leeched, it would be pretty funny. Because now he'll start taking uh, chip damage every turn. Alright. I, I I don't have any way of boosting my attack. Well, he, he gave me an attack down, but it doesn't really matter to Vine Whip, so... He is going to spam full heals. I've never seen a Gen 1 trainer do that. I've never tried to poison one of their things. Interesting. I mean, Vine Whip will trash him, but still, it's, it gave us something... Unique. Uh, does does it do? Does he do this in Gen One even? I feel like he, he could, right? Oh, I failed the poison. Wow, th this is quite a smackdown. I, I gotta say. Yeah, he just uses a full every time he's got poison. He throws a full heal. I wonder if he's got like a limit, like how many of those he can actually do per fight. Huh. Neat. I mean, the, uh, the combo leech seed. The fact that he's leeched, and we could just stall him by poisoning, and then having him waste his turn full healing every turn, mostly. That's, you know, kind of a cheesy way to win, but we didn't need it anyway, you know. Anyway, uh, first gym, obviously not a, no a big problem when you've got a, a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle. It's only tough if you've got Charmander. Five full heals? Huh. I mean, that's def... I... I would never have tried that strategy. Because I would just... Maybe used it once and he... He... Cleansed them. Like, I guess he's just gonna do that infinitely. I wouldn't have thought five times would be enough. But... Interesting. Honestly, it would have been worse if it was infinite. Because you could just stall him out. 
with uh, with Leech Seed. And you just slowly die. Anyway, first gym down. Not really a very challenging gym, but that's why we have Bulbasaur. Also, here, have some TM. Hmm. Some Timmies. What do we get? It's uh, usually not very good, but they might have changed it here. Bye. No, that's the same as before. I'll have to look up what Bide does now. Because I feel like this was definitely one of the changes. So we're just showing up now. There's a new move dex here, so we can try to keep up on the new the new ROM hack changes. Uh, so we had Poison Powder, which, you know, it's new. But I think 75% accuracy to Poison sounds... I believe that sounds vanilla. I don't think there's any changes there. Uh, we just saw... Must have missed it earlier on. Bye, there we go. Um, yeah, so instead of waiting and reflecting damage, it's just a plus one attack defense. But plus one is a... If, if you're really new to Pokemon, like if you don't know the, the things, they go up to, I think, what, level six? They, you go you can have your stats go from minus six to plus six, I think. But it's it's uh, it's a significant percent increase. Even, one, even plus one is... It's not like plus five percent. It's like twenty or thirty or something per tier. I, someone in chat can give me the exact numbers if you want, but it's it's a like you can do double damage or triple damage if you get enough ranks. Like it, it's significantly boost. A lot of RPGs, the attack up, defense up kind of things, they're like a very small amount, but in Pokemon, it's it's quite a lot. Uh, anyway, that was uh, that was. That was Pewter City. We're 26 minutes in, so we can maybe get to Mount Moon. Um, for the transit... I, I, I actually don't think Bulbasaur is going to be very good in these trainer battles over here. But I kind of think level 16 is an evolution, so I would like to get it. And then we'll switch out to uh, probably just better bird. Or multi-bird, whatever the bird is. Uh, not good for whip it, but we out level it so much. We might just be able to tank through it, but we'll see. Ugh. Like, we'll win, but it's just gonna take forever. And if he started doing that, the tackle would be even worse. We have a pretty strong counter to poison, so we'll just go with that. I don't have very good, you know, breadth in my party. I only have two usable Pokemon right now. I just don't really want to grind all the others up too early. It's, it's a lot of work. Alpha Centauri. Oh, that one's got such a learning cliff. Boy, I'm sure I've, like, I've basically forgotten it already. It took a long time when I was playing that, uh, doing that series to just to get the basics down well enough to talk about it while I played. It's a good game, but but pretty dense to, to just casually drop into. Ooh, critical hit. There you go. Get out of here, worst bird. And finally, just a cat. This is this is you know, like I said, this is why this guy is so strong now. We've got Actually, anti-normal moves. And we have taken at least one level of attack down. Um, so, we're we're doing less damage with all these physicals. So. Yeah, I think, I think this bird is going to be too strong, honestly. Like, I, I got to remember to use some other, other types. Uh, I am going to probably speed up though. I think we're there's a lot of mostly repeat encounters here, so we're gonna we're gonna do these a little bit faster. I think. Let the bird get to the same level as Bulbasaur, and go fast. Because yeah, there's a lot of bug trainers. They're not. There's nothing to talk about. We're gonna peck them. They're gonna die. We're gonna get a bunch of level ups. I, yeah. There's just. There's, these guys bring nothing to the table, right? Unless you want to start training your own low-level Pokemons. Uh, which is very slow. Like I said, I don't want to do that if I can avoid it for a little while. Because I'd rather have a better zone with better XP. Uh, we do double kick against rats. 
I can't believe we've got super effective typing on so much so fast here. Honestly, enemy birds are one of the few things we don't have a, a good type for. We could have used the electric mouse, I guess. But. Double team should be evasion increasing, which is really annoying. But not super strong. Okay, we can probably ground versus ground. Oh, wait, that doesn't... It's not double fighting. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry. It's, uh... It's it's not because he's ground. It's um one of the, I don't think this actually might be a change. I was reading about this one. Uh Sandshrews have normal now, so ground plus normal. I believe they were just pure ground in Gen 1. Uh but this will make their somewhat unique or their special uh, specialty slash attack, which is normal type, uh even more deadly. Like maybe when we catch one we actually give it a shot. I mean, I've already got a ground bird, but uh, I kind of like that idea. Ground normal is kind of neat. Anyway, let's, uh, let's keep powering through these uh, trainer battles. Wielder Myth. I feel like I've heard that name before, but I've definitely had that recommended somewhere a couple times, probably. But, I mean, I there's a reason why I'm playing old uh, games with ROM hacks. I... I'm so far behind on on my to-do list. You love them, you love. I don't think I've ever used a sand true, or at least not significantly. So that that's something I could use once we once we find one. Mostly just trying to use some of my my, like I mean, if they're very commonly used in the in the community, then maybe I might not use them either. But especially if I have used them a lot, is the one I'm trying to bench. So like. Definitely no Pikachu or Gyarados or Geodude or Kadabra. The stuff that I've used way too much. Let's just, while we're on fast forward, um, heal up rather than using potions. Oops, wrong. This is the... I guess most Pokemon games are a bit like this. There's a, there's a bunch of sections where it's just trainer battle, trainer battle, trainer battle, trainer battle. And unless you're really underleveled or not trying to catch anything... They're generally pretty easy. This is not a good matchup, though. So we will turn out for this one. If it's got a strong water attack, the ground bird will have a problem. No, it's all good. I, I feel like I've heard the name more than once, but I don't really know much about it. But yeah, I've got... It, it's, it's not a diss on anyone. I just... I've got too many... To-do list games, right? Both, both Let's Playing and Personal Playing. It's really hard to pick, you know, what I'm going to do next, because the list is just so big, it's like, ah, I'm never going to finish it, so. I kind of had a weird Pokemon itch, and here we are. Alright, well, Bulbasaur was clearly more than enough for, uh, for the Squirtle there. I don't think this, this trainer usually gets, uh, a Squirtle. Like, you generally don't see enemies with your starters till later, I don't think. Uh, let's clear out the top first, and then we'll go back. So just a couple more of these random trainers. Level 16 is probably a good point to stop before going into Mount Moon anyway. I feel like that's a pretty solid level for catching in the next zone. In fact, we might be overleveled. A lot of our attacks are going to potentially just one-shot these low-level random... But we'll get all these out of the way. Alright, we get a little bit of money. Honestly, less money than we got from just selling some of those uh, stat upper items on the ground. But that's fine. Okay, so new zone, new monsters. Uh, more trainers. This girl just ambushes us out of nowhere. If you ever watch a speed run of these old ones, uh, a lot of these trainers are spinners. So they sort of randomly rotate and will call you out. But you can sneak by them if you can. Level 14 Jigglypuff, eh? Well, did you know that we can double kick? Get out of here, stupid puffball. Almost one shot. Ah, this is why nobody likes Jigglypuff. 
So, I talked about how sleep was pretty bad in Gen 1. We do not have awakenings yet. So, we're just gonna have to wait it out. Notice I did not get to select a move. Shave Venonat? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll try. So, the turn you break sleep, you don't get an attack. We actually got very lucky there. I think that was only two rounds. But it can go on for like seven. <laughs> so, sleep is, is pretty brutal. Uh, it's probably one of the items that I'll allow fighting uh, gym leaders. Because I might as well just use an awakening or a full heal on it. Because it's not all different than hoping that it'll wear off. Like, you're just wasting turns constantly. Um, yes, I will. I'm going to get to the Poké Center first, clear out the trainer battles, and then we're going to come back and try to uh, catch all the new stuff. That guy doesn't even want to fight. I think there must be a hidden item in one of these areas, too. I kind of remember something being stashed around here. Oh, wow, chat called it. Whew. First try. Now, it's only level three. Uh, I don't know if there's anything we can do that won't kill it with with the bird. Um, we're gonna have to try <laughs> something. Uh, is there anything Bulbasaur has that wouldn't kill it? Let me check. I mean, you could poison it, but then it just dies eventually. Oh yeah, Wrap is super strong too, yeah. Um, sleep plus Wrap, yeah, I do remember that. You can't have multiple ailments. You can't be poisoned and sleeped. I would say, like... No, isn't Toxic in this one with the double damage poison? I think that's something, like, Arbok can do, right? If you can get Toxic and wrapped, like, you're just dead. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think that's in Gen 1. Maybe that was, maybe I'm mixing up, but... Um, anyway, fun things from the old days. Uh, yeah, I just need to not kill this thing instantly. Uh, I think we're going to try... We're going to try the dog. It's just a dog. Oof, five damage is a lot. Uh, we do have a attack we haven't seen before. Roar is not what it used to be. Uh, Roar is usually the swap a Pokemon thing. Now it's dragon-based damage. Wow. Uh, this isn't going to work. We can get one more attack. Maybe I should just, rather than doing damage, I should just be going for full HP balls. I mean, that was one or two jiggles. Um, or, or wobbles, I guess they call it. Um, you can, uh, if I remember correctly, <laughs> you can determine your odds of capturing it based on the number of wobbles. To, you either catch it, and you catch it, but the more wobbles you see before it stops, the more likely, the better your odds are of catching it. So, like, if it, if it wobbles once, and then you miss you had a very low chance to catch. If it wobbles like three times and then you miss, it was like, you probably had like a 90% chance or something. You just got unlucky. Something like that. It's, it's a Gen 1 thing. Gen 1 is great. Uh, anyway, we need a name. I mean, I guess we sort of have the name. It, it's, <laughs> it's it's just the uh, the Venonat that, that's been, uh, that had has not hit puberty yet. Uh, Add in leech seed too. Oh yeah, because there's a f yeah, there's a few of those things that stack even without, like you can only have one proper condition: poison, burn, frozen, whatever. But the uh, backup ones, the uh, the leech seeds and the wraps, they don't count. Yeah, those those yeah, there there was no exploits and bad programming in the original game. No way. Um, uh, we're gonna call it. Shave... Or, wait, 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 wait. How are we gonna do this? Shave... Shave a knot? Shave... Sh nat Shave a nat Shave a knot. Shave... No, it did shave, so shave a... Yeah. Mm. We'll, we'll just... We'll just... We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. Shaven... Knot? Just go with shave a knot. Because it didn't have to shave. Because it's too young. I don't know. <laughs> Look. Shaved gnat. That, maybe, I should have got the, I should have tried to get the, the gnat sound in there, yeah. Too late. Uh, alright. I didn't even want to start capturing yet. We're almost at the, the center. 
Might as well beat up all these kids on the way. This is just another orphan off on the road. Oh wait, he's actually an adult. With a whip! Beating up a 10 year old. Alright, I, I don't expect this fight's gonna be super difficult, so we'll just blast through some of these randos again. Uh, Nidoran, yeah. Oh yeah, new move. Uh, so Stomp should be normal. Double Team, I'm not a huge fan of most of the stat uppers. Uh, I mean, there's a couple. The obvious sword stance for really big attack up or calm mind for the special up. Those guys for offensive sweeps are great, but I don't like evasion ups or downs at all. Just, I hate it. Just leave everything always hitting is fine. Um, so, so a lot of these are just, you know, I'm never going to use them. Just dump it. Uh, but Stomp does give a little bit more variety to this bird. It's not something we need, but... You know, the, the Pokedex entry said he left big footprints, so it's kind of a stompy bird. Um, oh no! The most dangerous enemy is a mirror match. Uh, it, yeah, we don't have anything... Maybe Stomp is the way to go! We should probably stick with type effectiveness, though. Because we'll get stabbed from Peck. But I don't know the... the I, I should use Stomp once, because I don't know the, the exact power on it. I think Stomp was pretty strong in Gen 1. Or maybe just in general. But I feel like it's actually a... Like a mid-tier... It's not like a 40 base. It's probably closer to 60s, is, is what I'm guessing. If I... If you're wondering, again, there's lots of... Perhaps new to the, the Pokemon system... Uh, usually, like, low tier moves around 40 power early game, and then 60s kind of mid, and then 80 or 90s late. There's often optional higher than 100 power, but they tend to have a downside, like low accuracy or self-damage. And sometimes there's really weak, like 10 or 20 power, but they usually have some extra effect. But the, the, the usuals are around 50, 60, 80, or 90. Anyway, that's just... My, that's how I'm comparing things. So now we can look at the move decks for Stomp. Which is, in fact, a 65 power, 100% accuracy, normal move. Very nice. It even causes flinches almost a third of the time. That actually is a pretty strong combo. Flinches are great. And uh, 65 power is probably one of our strongest moves. Although, no stab, right? Like, we don't get the 50% bonus, so it's about equal to the 40 power ground or flying moves. So compared to uh, Peck and Dusclaw, it's not much different, it's just um, it can flinch. And unfortunately for normal, like nothing's weak to normal, right? So um, you never get super effective. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but I know there are some really strong normal combos, like the previously mentioned Hyper Fang, but also stuff like Return in later gens. There's, there's strong early game normal moves that they can do a lot. Uh, anyway, let's let's get this done. Okay, so future... I was thinking this might be where we get the quick healing, but that's not till a, a future Poke Center where there's a little thing they'll give us. Um, okay, we know about the six limit. We watched the anime. So we caught a Jigglypuff. We will have to go do some more catching. I'm pretty sure there'll be more. Maybe the uh, the alternate Jigglypuff. What's what's the the variant form? Is the uh, the other the other? Uh, I always forget the name. The Wiggly thing. Jiggly. No, it's Jigglypuff and Clefairy. Clefairy. Those are the two. They're the the Moon Pokemon. I've never used any. Of them. I guess in uh, in Smash Brothers, I've used Jigglypuff a bit. Sure, used to troll my little sister with it. Team Rocket's at it again. Ah, this is it. Very good. Our first water Pokemon. $500. Deal. But, um, this is already on my band list. We're just getting it for the Pokedex entry. Um, it's just a fish. It doesn't even tell you the Pokedex entry this time when you buy it like this, I guess. Not like when you catch it. Um, it's just a carp. It says it's magical, but I don't know if I believe that. Um, sometimes I like wordplay a little. Uh, seeing as it's a carp, maybe his nickname should be Carpidium. 
I'm sure many, many people have named their Magikarp something like that. Probably spelled it wrong. Anyway, it's going straight to the computer. It's, uh... I mean, you guys, it's, it's, it's a spoiler from, like, 30 years ago. But, um... You know, obviously, Magikarp has a secret and evolves into one of the stronger Pokemon. Uh, one of the best water types, for sure. And, uh... I mean, everyone uses them. So, we're gonna put him away. He's on my banned list because I've used Gyarados many, many, many times. It's almost my default uh, secondary after after Charizard, honestly. Um, okay, so added to the Pokedex, we will evolve it eventually, but not till it's much easier to do so. All right, our next step is finding anything new that's not inside Mount Moon. And I'm assuming, oh boy, now that's a that's an option. Ooh, I gotta think about this one. So Execute's pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever used an Execute either, because Safari Zone. Um, but your rival does technically use it. Uh, interesting. It's also very weak. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of hard to catch. Like a higher tier difficulty than uh, a lot of the things. Uh, maybe if we kill it, it's fine, because we can probably respawn him. But I'm going to try... It should resist fighting. Maybe even four times, actually. Yeah, it's probably gonna live this easily. Yeah. Unless we crit or something. Ooh boy. Well that's fine. We can we can we can throw balls while our bird's asleep. I wish we could get a status on it. I didn't mean to press fight. I just wanted to check his moves and uh, I, maybe it's, he's he's low level. I, maybe it's fine. I, I don't remember exactly how the catch mechanics work. Um, I just know catching these things in the Safari Zone is not very nice. And a, and a Pokeball is weaker in a than a Safari Ball technically. But we're getting a few wiggles, so it's it's not too unlikely. We just we're just not getting the good luck yet. That's all. Yeah, I figured quarter damage to fighting, that's why I, I threw it out there. But I'm pretty sure if I understand my mechanics right, we're just getting unlucky here. There's lots of wiggles. One wiggle, two wiggle, and break. Because it's not like, it's not in the super high category, I think you can get three in a fail. But I think two wiggles is already like, we're probably like 50-50 or something. And it's just, you know, not getting that roll. If it was bouncing immediately, then I'd be like, oh, 5% or something, but there you go. All right. <laughs> Quality YouTube comment. Now, I know our I know my starter is a Bulbasaur. But you know what's better than Grass Poison? Grass Psychic. <laughs> so maybe maybe we just use this guy? I don't think I've ever used to execute ever. Literally ever. I've caught them sure, but I've never used them. But Grass Psychic is a pretty strong sounding combo. Um, better than Grass Poison in my books. And his stats are pretty good for this. His Executor stats are pretty high if I remember correctly. He's not very fast. He's slow. But Grass is always slow. Alright, we do need a name. So what do we call the pile of eggs that's actually a plant that's also psychic? Um, I feel like this is another one that people probably call Benedict a lot. For some reason. That's like a clever nickname. They're super clever. Uh, but but it's nice to find the good trolls. Like, like... Mm, I'm stumped. It's always the nicknames. The hardest part of the game when you're trying to do it with nicknames. Um... Now, there is an egg Pokemon, right? Chansey is the actual egg Pokemon. <laughs> this is just... This is just a, a fake bunch of not eggs that's actually with some sort of weird plant seed. I'm just, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna go with my original thought. We're gonna call him Benedict. Because, you know, he's eggs. First name eggs, last name Benedict. I don't know how to spell it either. Something. 
Better add that T there. People flag my YouTube video. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, cool. I wasn't expecting that in this zone. Not at all. That's not a typical uh, pre-Mount Moon fight. Oh, hey! It's our it's our web browser. Pina Colada? That's not bad. I guess thinking of the coconut tier, but like right now he's not a coconut, so... Uh, well, we certainly need one of these. Oh, we're still sleeping. Ah, well. So, let's just speed the we're still sleeping part out. Seriously? It's like the full seven rounds here. There we go. And yeah, you don't get to move on the turn you wake up. It's rough. Oh, and then we get burned. Now that we're not sleeping, there's a limit of only one status effect. So while you're sleeping, you're immu immune to burn. That's great. Um, if we wanted to kill it, we'd kill it. Uh, fire. Yeah, I don't have anything really resistant here. Uh, normal. Pretty strong normal. I feel like that's probably going to kill. Wait, no. Burn halves our attack. We're actually fine. There's almost no way this kills. I mean, it was close, but calculated because of the burn. <laughs> I totally know how Pokemon works, guys. I am the master. Alright. I mean, that's uh, that was a pretty good hit. All right, at the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. I mean, it's, uh, it, you could obviously go with an anime reference here if you wanted, um, call him some kind of ninja boy, but uh, I think that's probably a bit overused. So I, I think, I've already made the joke once or twice. I think it's only fair that we double down on, on the Firefox. Um, which definitely didn't exist uh, when this game came out. Uh, at best, Netscape would have been out. Uh, and then the sort of follow-up of Firefox certainly was somewhere into the 2000s. So, um, they wouldn't have known. But yeah, Firefox, I don't think I've used Vulpix before. Uh, neither Growlithe. I, I think I've used Growlithe a little bit, because, you know, Arcanine's pretty classic. But maybe a Vulpix might be a good fire type for our group. I could see using that one. I, I also need to go uh, heal up here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, the, the evolved one, Ninetales, will have uh, a secondary type in addition to fire. I'm pretty much 100% sure I've saw that. Chrome, I don't know. I know a lot of people switch to Chrome, but to me it, it's still... it. Chrome has replaced Microsoft Explorer. Uh, but Firefox is still the alternate, different system version. Uh, anyway, let's, let's see if we can find some more stuff. Catch them all. Okay, we've already beaten this guy up. Uh, do we want any more levels? Easy to kill, so let's not grind. Because I think we're just we're too easy to one-shot things already, you know? Okay, all there is is a bunch of bull fixes. We found the hidden leaf village. Wow, seriously. So we got a Jigglypuff and then 500 Vulpix. Am I on like some sort of RNG loop? The Eggs Cute was a really good find. That's three new types here. Maybe that's all there is? There he is. I knew there had to be a fighting type. Uh, there's almost... You usually... I think in vanilla you can get a man key pretty early, so... Uh... Let's... I don't think I can attack it with anything. That'll kill it. It does resist double kick, but... Oh, I don't know. Fighting resists fighting, right? That's... No, it doesn't, actually. <laughs> I, I don't use fighting types very often. I use fighting moves, I just don't use fighting types very often. Um, so that'll kill him. Yeah, they'll all probably kill him. Let's just throw a ball at it. We only got seven left. Uh oh. There's probably quite a few that we need to catch in the next gym. But the, they had a couple bounces there, so it's not going to be too low. I should sell those X specials. Just, I don't want to use stuff like that. It's cheating. There you go. You don't even need to damage them. Whatever tutorial says, make sure you damage and poison the Pokemon. Like 
That's silly. Just throw balls at them. Isn't that how they did it in um, one of the more modern games, like like Pokemon Let's Go or Pikachu or one of those recent ones where you just won't run around throwing balls at them, basically, like the like the Safari Zone. <laughs> Um, so we got Monkey. Okay, I have a good one for this one. If anyone in chat has one, you can preempt me, but, um, I, did, I forgot to read his dex enter, because, you know, I, I skimmed over it. But this is a, a humanoid monkey that likes to punch things really fast. You can see him on the screen there, punching, punch, punch, punch. Uh, I think it's just Mankey D... Luffy. <laughs> so I'm getting all my, my stupid references out of the way early on. Um, and that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> um, so that's good. That's, add that to the, add that to the list of videos on YouTube. Uh, alright, let's, let's keep going here through our search hunt for new mons. That's four in this zone. Let's show how easy it is to kill these poor things. Uh, we've already killed Jigglypuff once or twice. Kick it while it's down. Okay, so that means that we must have found like five or so. Five new. That sounds like a pretty good set then. Maybe I'll... What I'll do, just to be fair, I'll stay until we get level 18. And then I'll uh, get out of here. Because I think our, our Bulbasaur will explo it expl evolve fighting Geodudes in the next zone pretty quick. This might look like grinding, but I'm actually just trying to find new Pokemon. <laughs> this is actually too slow to really be a valuable grinding. Oh, Get out of here. Level 3 Jigglypuff. You're not worth anything. 30 XP. Alright. Uh, I, yeah, I'm still not in a position where I want to like train up a new guy just yet. But let's have a look at maybe... I think the egg is a contender. You know, I like to have the standard core water, fire, er, grass. Water, fire, grass, and then something ground. Water, fire, earth. Or water, fire, grass is like your trio. But I definitely like ground and sometimes rock along with it. And then you need, you definitely need something to deal with uh, psychic in Gen 1, for sure. Like, you can't ignore psychic being overpowered. Would this guy be able to handle enemy psychics. Grass is usually weak to psychic. Right? Or is it just because they're all grass poison, actually? Yeah, it's not actually weak to psychic. I, I usually think of grass as weak to psychic because all the grass Pokemon are grass poison and poison's weak to psychic. But So he's, he's actually strong to psychic. It depends on if he can learn any moves that psychic types are weak to. Um, priority would be physical, maybe bug, or you know, ghost if the if you can get him. Because there's no dark. Dark is the hard counter for psychic, but it doesn't exist. So this, like, I'm just trying to think what would be good for for Sabrina and all that. Uh, you need someone that can take a couple psychics. And that might be this guy. He's got a really good special, so he's pretty pretty defensive. So maybe we use him. But that does kind of fight for a spot with my little starter. But hey, I'm trying to use mons I normally don't use. Uh, you know what I use even less than Bulbasaur is an execute. Uh, what a great icon. <laughs> uh, probably not using a Wigglypuff. Let's... Um... Deposit that one. I still kind of want to try the Beedrill. And then, do we have anyone else? I mean, I could bring... I think I'd rather use the Firefox than the Fire Dog. Now that we've got two fire options, if I do want to do that. Hot Dog is a great name. But... So that gives us... What are we missing? Oh, I'm in the wrong box. Whatever, I'll sort these out later. This is supposed to be my band box. 
that's fish and, and Pikachu. So Magikarp and Pikachu. And I'm, I'll have to clean this all up later. But not when in the middle of the episode. Oh, it's the hour mark again. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, future tubers, I'm going to save you guys this. We're going to end the episode here. And I'm going to think about my party going into Mount Moon. Because we've caught all the stuff on the outside, I'm pretty confident. But now we've got to work our way through a cave, catch some new stuff, fight a bunch of new Pokemon trainers, and beat up Team Rocket. So I want to have at least a party. I might do a little bit of level grinding between episodes to be like, if I bring someone, I want to catch them up to like level 11 or 12. And uh, that way they'll actually be useful. Start building a team now seems like might be the idea. So that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you when we come back to Mount Moon.